What we're going to look at here is a Colby ultra clad aluminum sterling double hung window. Common to all our ultra clad units, all extruded aluminum exterior, made to look like a wood unit, painted with our 70% fluoropolymer paint finish, we're able to offer a 30 year warranty in a non coastal application. And if we're within 5,000 feet of the mean high tide line, we have a 20 year warranty on this finish. Either way, we're 10 years more than most brands are able to offer. Now we're going to take a look at these two windows which are basically uh, circle head windows and we're going to show you that there's two ways to arrive at this uh, and show one that's completely uh, round top, a little bit more expensive, and one that is a, a square out half circle in which is a little bit more economical. Let's take a look at the exterior. This one is done up in truffle and this is showing a half circle in, half circle out. Notice that you know it's architecturally correct, historically accurate. This one has on the exterior the uh, pavilion casing with a 2 and an eighth projected sill nosing. The simulated divided light bars are 5 eighths so those are also uh, historically accurate. And the glazing that we're using here is our 366 high performance glass shows a couple other things that not only can we arrive at design solutions for particular design problems in different ways achieving the same results but we also have options for the glazing to meet different performance standards depending on where the person is in the country and their energy zone if they need a higher performing glass in winter we can do that if they need a higher performing glass for summer cooling we can do that and if we need a combination for both we can do that the other one that we have over here again showing as a circle head unit uh, is done up in sand and this is the bull nose casing with the two and an eighth projected sill nosing. Again we're showing it very very close to the other one, 5 eighths bar. In this one we have the low E270 glass. And what you'll notice too, uh, something typical of what we did with the sterling double hung window, is not only did we want to do it with an all extruded aluminum exterior, we also wanted to have it completely hide the jam liner. So you'll notice that there is no jam liner that shows on the exterior. Now we're looking at the interior and we can see the two windows directly side by side and you can see how we achieve the results of having them both look the same while we're arriving at it in two different ways. This is the square out half circle in and this is the half circle out half circle in and you can tell that the glass is radius, the sash is radius and the frame is radius so it takes a little bit more to put that in in the install but it also means that because of the all radius nature of it it's going to be a little bit more expensive. This is a typical rectangular window unit with a rectangular sash and the only thing that's radius is the glass so that is much more economical. Again from the interior keeping up with the theme that we wanted to be architecturally correct and historically accurate you'll notice that this interior which is maple done up with a clear finish at the factory has a jam liner cover so that in the closed position you see nothing but the beauty of the wood. Very historically accurate and architecturally correct. The same way with this window, which is done up in walnut, notice that you don't see any jam liner either. All you see is the walnut wood, again done up with a factory clear finish. This particular hardware is antique brass sash lock and sash lift. This one is the rustic umber. And the other nice feature of this window is the fact that with the sash lock in the open position, you can open it. And with a very simple operation of depressing the button and moving the lever over 180 degrees, this window will tilt in for easy cleaning and or removal for whatever you need to do.